Yo, what is up, guys? Hope you're all doing well. Coming at you with another unboxing. This time, is of a T3485. Now, this one does have a full interior on it. So, let's crack this open. Let's have a look. So, by the looks of it, we've got some cherry cans. I believe they're jerry cans. We've got a few suspension components, fuel can, uh, fuel tanks. Oh yeah, that's, that might actually be what they are. Let's see. We've got the upper engine deck. A few more parts. We've got some interior parts. We've got our seats. So it looks like majority of this is going to be our inside and part of the upper hull. Because there is something a little bit different with this kit. Obviously I'll take it all out. I'll run through quickly. I'll take it all out and we'll show. And then you can have a better look. So here we've got some more interior pieces. We start seeing our shells. <clears throat> Again, some extra parts for the exterior. Got some tracks for the exterior as well. Yeah, now we've got a mixture of interior and exterior. We've got our breech, our front fenders, we've got our vent for the engine deck. We've got some road wheels. Hey, hey, we've got a road wheel. I would say with this, we'll also have our. Um, Drive wheel and idler wheel. Now this is kind of like a special part. So this tank doesn't actually get painted. Obviously all of the interior does. But the exterior doesn't. We have clear parts. This is going to be amazing. So... As some of you would have seen, my 116 Panther, that isn't clear. That is full, in your face, build. And obviously you have to paint the upper hull. This is where this one's a little bit more special. Because we have clear parts. Uh, now, a lot of the parts will get painted. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to paint the upper hole or not. But also we've got our springs. We've got our tyres for the road wheels. Tyres. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did it that way. Um... But yeah, we've got clear, our clear parts, got our road wheels. So I was wrong on that one, isn't road wheels. That will be our roller wheel and everything like that. And then we've got our lower hole. And along with our lower hole, we also have our tracks. I'm not sure how the tracks are going to be. And then we've got some more parts. Now... For people who have just seen this, please don't say anything. Um, we have photo etch, we've got rope for our tow ropes. And then we also have some uh, numbers, some insignias, obviously. These ones, because yes, I can make this a captured one. Okay, so straight off the bat, building the suspension. And it's nice also because it actually tells you how to paint it as well. Which is pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah, so, so how it looks is it looks like it tells you how to paint them as you're going along. 
So there's a lot of aluminium, there's a lot of flat black, there's a lot of flat white, Russian green. Luckily enough, I have a lot of these colours. Apart from flat white and flat black, I don't have them. If anyone knows how to make a, uh, a flat black or a flat white, please let me know down below. I mean, I do have, that's glass, I do have these. So I don't know if I can coat it black and then put this over the top of it. If I can do that, let me know. Um, and yeah, it would generally just help me out. Still, I can make a steel colour because I've got polished. What is it? It's like polished something. It's like a polished metal kind of thing, and I'll just mix it with a bit of black and yeah. Okay. And then we're getting on to the road wheels, we're getting on to these parts. I don't really know my Russian tanks that well, I will be honest. Okay, so it also looks like we have to paint the tracks as well. That's going to be fun. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving the detail that is on this. I have to admit, I'm liking the detail. Ah, so we even have some shells that sit up in the turret as well. Ah. Ah, right, yes. So here we come. So, this is what I mean by you don't have to, but you can. So, you can paint the upper hole if you want to, or you can leave it clear. It's completely down to you. Um, so, we've got the Tampa Grade in July 1944. We've got the Baltic Front, July 1944. Not much information about this particular tank, other than it's in Russian green. Then we have this tank, which is Eastern Prussia. I think I'm saying that right, either that or I've completely butchered it. In November 44. Then I'm not even going to try and pronounce any of this. Uh, that's January 45. But then we also have the captured... Um, T thirty four eighty five with the with the credentials of three two one. This is probably what I'm going to do because I really want to build a captured tank. I do have another T thirty four eighty five um, that is produced by Rayfield. So if I don't end up using all of these decals, I may use them decals on that thirty four. My guy was sound like this. But then I kind of want something that's got its own little name on it. So I'm not sure. But yeah. So this kit does go a fair bit in detail. So I won't get the photo edge or anything out because I don't really want to damage it. But I will start by taking all of this out. Oh no, you can see that pretty clearly on the camera. So this is by AFV Club. Yeah, AFV Club. Now, I've never actually built one of their kits before. So I'm not sure what to expect. If anyone here has built one of their tanks before, um, what or you've built this kit before what type of stuff should i be looking out for is there anything that needs um sort of like a little bit of attention or does the kit generally just fall together nicely um <clears throat> this kit um if you want to uh possibly get this kit the kit will be uh, I got mine from 135 scale. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to have a look at this tank. 
And no, I'm not affiliated with them in any way possible. I wish I was, but I'm not. So, you don't have to worry about that one if that is something that you would worry about. Um, all in all, I'd probably have to give this kit quite a high rating. Um, obviously, as most of you know, I've been model building for a fair few years now. And um, normally I'm doing my German stuff. Um, sort of like this Ferdinand, which is currently black. I need another coat of black because I need to paint up here. I digress. Um, some of you will also know that I've got quite a few tigers. And I have been doing something a little bit different, kind of teaching myself how to do some techniques. So I have this. So, um, this tank is a Tiger One. It's an Airfix, um, Trump, uh, Airfix Tiger One Operation Citadel. Obviously I've got the damage up on the side. Now it's not complete. That's where I've been testing. It's not complete, it's not perfect, but this is the first time I've properly fully gone into detail. Obviously, if you've been around on the channel for a little while, you'll recognize this. This was my first ever attempt, but this was with pigments. This is with actual uh, enamel washes, uh, pigments obviously you can't see it but there is actually dirt up behind the road wheels uh, not that you can really see it I've got a streaking grime on there I've got a little bit of chip in I've then gone over with the streaking grime just to dull the colour out a little bit um, there is track wash on there as well obviously then one part that don't really Close properly in one part that, yeah. Th this tank was a tester. Um, I will be going live later. So if you want to know a little bit more about that tank, I will be live on Twitch. A link for that will be in the description as well. I do have a Discord as well, um, where you can talk to me, ask me about my projects. I'm happy to talk to anyone. Um, but yeah guys, so T3485, this will probably be the starting build on the stream tonight. Hope you all have enjoyed this and on stream there will be sort of like a more detailed look into this. Um, but yeah, that will all be down below. If you've enjoyed, slap that thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and press the bell icon so you're always notified when I release a new review. And yeah, guys, I've been Mac RCM models, mainly Mac models at the moment. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.